Hey guys, what is up? It is DOS. Today we're doing a video on the setup of Netbird. Netbird is a zero trust network access peer to peer networking solution that pretty much replaces your traditional VPN. So let's go ahead and get started. You know, just like I said, let's click the button, get started, and let's go ahead and make an account. We're going to do step zero to step done. So we're going to connect it to our desktop PC. And then we're going to connect it to just a server, a VPS, something that's not even at my house to show you guys that the connection really does work and how fast it is and how easy it is to really set up. So we're going to need to create an account. So let's do netbird. Oh, I can't type. Sorry. Netbird.youtube at my custom domain.com. You guys can put your email in and then click continue. Asking for a password. We're going to type in a password. Click sign up. To complete your registration, please click the link in the email we just sent you. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we will be back. Okay, I went ahead and confirmed that link in my email. So we're going to click continue. It should bring us to the sign in page. Perfect. Let's type in that email again. All again. Now this will bring us to our dashboard, but we should get a pop up to set up our first peer. So let's go ahead and click YouTube. Why not? Home lab automation. This is for personal. If it's for business, click business and then click continue. Peer to peer network. Go ahead and click that. They're recommended. And now it's going to be able to help us find our first device. So we're going to go ahead and click install Netbird and download Netbird. Once that is done, we can go ahead and run it. Click yes there. Then next. I agree. Next and install. So this install is normally pretty fast. So let's go ahead and watch it together. Once that is done, we're going to go ahead and click start Netbird UI. Make sure that's checked and click finish. And then now we're going to click bottom right. It's going to go to our system tray. And then we're going to find the icon that shows Netbird right here. We're going to go ahead and right click that and click connect. This will probably open up in a separate browser for me. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that over. And we're gonna go ahead and log in again. So we're gonna click in our email, password, and click log in. Once we're logged in, it's gonna ask us, do we wanna authorize the app? Yes, we do. We're gonna click accept. Once that is done for me, I'm gonna go ahead and close that out and we can get back here. So as you can see, it automatically found that peer, DOS PC. And now we're just gonna click skip to dashboard. So here we have our DOS, our DOS PC, our Netbird IP that was assigned to this peer. Uh, it's in the all groups. It was last seen just now. Operating system is Windows and version. So you can actually see a lot of stuff from this menu. So this is the free tier. They have paid tiers as well. The free tier is perfect for home lab use, in my opinion. You have five users and you can uh, connect up to 100 peers, which I think is crazy, insane, awesome. So first things first is we are going to want to add another peer. We are going to add a, a VPS that is hosted on my you know, preferred provider, which is Vulture in this case. And I'll show you guys how to connect that. So give me one second to go ahead and spin up a quick instance and I'll see you guys in the uh, terminal. There is actually one more thing that I wanted to show you guys and before going into the terminal, we're actually gonna click setup keys and we're gonna set up the server using a setup key to show you guys one more feature of Netbird. So we're gonna go ahead and create, set, create a setup key. We're gonna name it Vulture Servers. This key is reusable. Sure. Why not? And then we're going to auto add this to the group server. And then we're going to go ahead and create a setup key. This is for automation. If you don't want to have to set up a netbird agent on every single machine manually. Uh, so if you have a bunch of servers, this is definitely the way to do it. So we're going to click install netbird. We're going to copy this install script, go to the terminal now and go ahead and paste that in. This shouldn't take too long. So I'll go ahead and see you guys once it's done, but it should just take a couple of once that is done, we're going to go ahead and go back to our browser and copy this, which actually provides our setup key. Make sure you guys don't share this to people, obviously, but this is for the tutorial. I don't care if you guys see it. So we're going to copy that, go to our terminal, paste that in. Now, normally, if you just did Netbird up, you would have to sign in with an account. But this way, with that setup key, it's automatically going to approve that server and it's going to automatically add the server group to the server that we're adding. So right here, it shows connected. So we're going to go here and go to peers. 
and as you can see it's it's right there it's already added for me expiration is disabled because uh, it's a server the way we offed it using a setup key it automatically added the server group and that's pretty much it we're pretty much connected uh to show you guys that it's working we are actually going to add a group here and we're going to name it admin because our box is specifically an admin we're going to save groups uh, i will show you guys access control if you go ahead and go to access control do the little drop down click policies right now there's a default policy that it's pretty much just let everything talk you, you probably don't want that in a zero trust uh you know environment so we're going to do it go ahead and lock this down a little bit i'll show you guys a quick policy so we're going to go ahead and click policy any admin can talk to the servers on tcp udp icmp we're going to specifically use tcp for this the direction we don't want servers to talk to admin we only want admin to talk to servers so we're going to go ahead and uh, check that arrow to make sure the direction is only to the servers and for the port specifically ssh for this example is 22 we're going to click name and description and we're just going to put admin to servers and click add policy so now that that's created we can actually turn off the default policy all we really have to do is test out the connection now so we're going to go to netbird tut and copy that ip we're going to exit this and we're going to do ssh root and then our netbird ip press enter yes and we're in we are connected via netbird it's that easy it's super fast i love it highly recommend you guys test it out to show you guys the policies how this works we're going to go ahead and disconnect go back to our browser turn off this policy the policies usually take a few seconds but it's pretty much immediate so we're going to wait for that to turn off once that's off we're going to try to SSH again. And as you can see, it does not let me. I do not have access. That just shows that the access policies are working. If we go ahead and close that, go back, turn the access policy back on, SSH again, and we're in. So just like that. So there's also networks and network routes. This is more if you want to not have to install the agent on every single server, if you want to more allow a subnet um access and then you have team users this is one of the last things i'll show you if you want a specific user when they add a device that it always adds a certain group this is where you will do that so for me my account or any peer that i sign into it's going to be an admin so i'm going to save that so now for now on if i add a new windows pc it'll automatically add that admin group and i'll automatically be able to ssh into my servers so that is pretty much netbird there's i mean it's it's a great UI, it's open source. Their GitHub and their website will be in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. But it is a fantastic solution and I definitely recommend you guys checking that out. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, make sure you ask it in my Discord or in the comments below and I'll try and help you guys out to the best of my ability and I will catch you guys in the next one.